What's going on people? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to another daily video for you guys today. In this video, we're going to talk about Declan Rice because I feel like Chelsea are going to be moving in for one more bid for him before the transfer window concludes. And we're going to talk about outgoings because in order for Chelsea to try and make one final bid for Declan Rice, we need to free up the wage bill. We need to try and get rid of some of the dead within our squad that we have been trying to get rid of over the last few months. And players have gone. We're going to talk about Ross Barkley who has now joined Aston Villa on loan for a season. We're also going to be talking about other players that could potentially be leaving in the coming days. And how likely is it that we're going to see Declan Rice as a Chelsea player at the end of this window. But... Before we start this video, if you guys haven't done so already, please smash that like button, press the subscribe button as well, hit the bell notification button too, to be the first guy to know whenever we release any new content. And yeah guys, just back me please, because we're this close to 20k, the channel is doing a madness right now, thank you to all you guys who have been subscribing, because the number just keeps going up, and you're going up at a crazy rate as well, so big up all you guys who have been supporting and backing us through this. And yeah, let's go straight into the video, I hope... You guys have all reeled off that annoying Spurs result yesterday and it's annoying. I think in the grand scheme of things, it might not mean too much for us. I mean, another fixture in December in a cramped, in a cramped Christmas period, which is going to be more cramped because of us piling fixtures around the entire season. Might be better for us in the long term. It is annoying that we're out of a cup competition. I have said numerous times that I want to see us win the trophy early because I think for a lot of those Chelsea youth players who are coming into the first team over the last season and a half, it would be great for them to get a feel of what it means to win a trophy for Chelsea. And after you get that little taste of it, all you're going to want is more. So it's annoying that we're knocked out of the Carling Cup, which is an easy competition to win. Carling Cup is the Carabao Cup. But yeah, they change names every two years. It don't even mean anything. The League Cup. It's annoying to get knocked out of the League Cup, especially to Tottenham, especially in the third round, especially on penalties as well. I feel like the game was there for us, and especially with the way Jose was coming into the match, he didn't even care about this match. Didn't even play a number nine. He stuck, he stuck everyone behind the ball. And the game was there for us to be won, but you also couldn't afford to be too complacent because we know Jose's at his best when his back's to the wall or when everyone thinks that his team is out of it and they've got no chance of winning. And what they did, they just sat deep and they just waited. They waited for mistakes from us because we know Chelsea are the kings of individual mistakes right now if you wait for long enough we are going sorry we are going to hand you an opportunity on a plate and what happened we handed them an opportunity on the plate with emerson being lazy on the left hand side and i know we're talking about outgoings and our main aim is to bring a dm next year i want to just throw this completely out right now i beg we just get another left back even just for the competition for ben chilwell because i could imagine in two years time ben chilwell could probably drop off a little bit because of complacency because emerson isn't going to be seriously competing for his spot and neither is marcus alonso all emerson did was just come onto the pitch today and showed exactly why no one cared about who started that left back over the last season because they're both poor they both make mistakes and they both cost you points and it happened again emerson came into the, into the game looking like a player who just realized that his, that his spot isn't really under jeopardy anymore he is probably going to stay at chelsea because of all the stuff that's happened with marcus alonso over the last couple of days i've said it numerous of times i don't care who stays i don't care who goes neither of them is chelsea quality they're all going to be responsible for making mistakes and costing us points if you play them long enough and i think today was just another example of that but i'm not going to sit here and just scapegoat emerson as well i think the midfield lacked a serious amount of bite and there was just a lack of intensity going forward. I think I respect the fact that Spurs stuck deep in the, in the midfield, put everyone behind there, made it frustrating for us. But the same way, we never really tried to ask too many questions of them. Like the first half, it was just get the ball into the defenders. Tomori will spray it to the right to the right hand side. We'll try make a drive forward. It doesn't work. We'll go back into the midfield. We'll go back into the left hand side. See if Hudson Odoi can try something. If that doesn't work, we just go round and we try again. Maybe Jorginho will try a long ball off off to Olivier Giroud, but it's not going to work because Giroud's just going to lay it down to somebody else. And there isn't enough space in the attack 
attacking third for anyone to jump onto that second ball and we lose it and then the same thing just happens again and again and again and it was a rolling circle and we need a plan B but I'm not going to discredit Lampard too much the only thing you can be annoyed about is that, he didn't, is that he didn't take off Mount towards the end of the game Mount looked a bit tired I think the same thing for Hudson Odoi but we're missing Ziyech and Pulisic and they would have so much more quality coming down on those wings so it's annoying but um, as we're still waiting to see the final form. I know this isn't Chelsea at its full potential, so we just have to wait and see. I think a DM is going to be a huge thing that's going to help us if we can get Declan Rice through the door because we do lack a natural DM. But we do have to sell some players in order to do that. The first thing I want to say is Ross Barkley. That's one player. He's gone on loan to Aston Villa for the season. One thing I do also want to say, we're probably not going to be selling players. I think we've noticed that over the last couple of weeks. We want, we want to try and get max valuation for all the players that we're trying to sell. And in the case of, and in the case of a lot of players, play, clubs can't reach that valuation. Mainly because the whole situation with the virus over the entire year and every club making losses, they can't reach those valuations. Especially for players that are barely playing for us. So... We have to deal with loans for the time being. Ross Barkley, like I said, he's gone on loan to Aston Villa. There were hints that he was going to be going on loan. I mean, he's just fallen further and further down the pecking order over the last couple seasons since he joined us. And like I said, Chelsea were preferably looking to sell him. But because of his 100k a week wages, it would be a joke trying to find suitors for him. I don't even think the transfer fee would have been the biggest deal for him. Because he was only worth 50 million. Anything would be profit for him at that point. But it's the 100k a week wages that are holding us back. Like seriously, we did so much stupidness in that 17-18 season. It's unimaginable. But he's needed a fresh start for a while. He's struggled to break into Chelsea and stamp down the first team spot. And he, I've always said he plays like the type of player that needs the team to flow around him. But at Chelsea, he just doesn't have the potential. He doesn't have the quality on the ball to justify us playing through him. So which is why he's kind of always struggled. So I, Aston Villa feels like a good move for him. Because he is, a, he is initially one of the better players in that squad. He will get a bit more game time in that squad as well. And it's a chance for him to get his mojo back. He's... Uh, sorry, what was it? Aston Villa, the standard is a lot lower, which gives him a lot more chance to improve to try and stamp a claim for the squad. And hell, even if he ends up playing more regular, even if he ends up playing more regularly, they might end up signing him. I know in the case of Ross Barkley as well, uh, he's probably not going to stay. I think long term we're trying to get rid of him regardless. It's a good move for us. Even though it's not a transfer, which we initially preferred, because we do need to, that is 100k off the wage packet, which could help us in the Declan Rice transfer. That isn't it, though. We still need to try and get rid of other players as well. Chelsea, like we've already said, he just didn't have the quality to play at Chelsea. He was always the sort of player that shone in the smaller games, but against semi decent op opposition, he just fall apart, lose the ball constantly. Had a pretty decent end towards the end of last season, but like I said, he's just fallen further and further down the pecking order. And it was obvious that long term, he isn't going to be a first team player at Chelsea. So I hope he does well at Villa. I hope he has a good season there, and I hope it get him manages to get us a better fee for him towards the end of the season. But Ross Barkley, we do know he just had to go. It, it wasn't going to make sense as well. Um, another player that I want to talk about, Ruben Loftus Cheek. He was another player that Lampard had hinted at on going on loan as well. Aston Villa, I know we're interested in him. I think Crystal Palace were interested in him as well. Both of those clubs are out of the window now because Connor, because Mishi Batshuayi has gone on loan to Palace. And like we said, Barkley has gone on loan to Aston Villa as well. I don't know if Loftus-Cheek stays at Chelsea now. I will be real. If you ask me to pick between Barkley and Loftus-Cheek to stay for the season, you might think I'm being hypocritical here. I'd keep Ross Barkley because I think Loftus-Cheek, it's a lot more of a confidence thing with him. He just genuinely needs more regular game time. And I think... Barkley, you could bring him off the bench every now and then. They don't really matter. He's just fallen down the pecking order. It's nothing too deep. Loftus Cheek, there's still hella potential with this guy. He just needs to get his mojo back. I think a loan deal would have been perfect for him. I think there's still the potential to do it. It, it will feel like a huge step back for Ruben Loftus Cheek. 
but it's been a step back since that stupid friendly before the Europa League final and we do need to take this step back and just give him the regular game time because him coming off the bench and trying to help us for the last 20 minutes isn't going to be what he needs to get better what he needs is regular game time getting his confidence back believing in his ability again and coming back to us hopefully the same hopefully the same player that left before the injury but yeah this is the end of the video let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe to carefree lewis g let me know your thoughts on the barkley loan deal and loftus cheek potentially i'm going to talk more about all the players that could potentially be leaving in another video in a few days but let me know what you guys want to see before deadline day and do you guys think we can get declan rice in me personally I think it's too late in the window for it. I think especially with what West Ham would want and the fact that West Ham would have to go in the market for another DM. I don't think it would make sense for them to sell Declan Rice, even though I would like to see it happen. I don't think it will happen. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and up the chels.